All new tonight, the government says 28 miles of levee wall will be added in the valley. It comes after Hidalgo County officially asked for a border wall to double as flood control. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing has the details from the border in Hidalgo. The city of Hidalgo is like a fortress with big, tall levee walls to keep out not just people, but also water. They go as high as 20 feet in the air. For now, these levee walls are penetrable because they're incomplete. The government's plan now is to complete that fortress. A portion of Hidalgo County's existing levee wall ends here at the east end of the city of Hidalgo. It's a picturesque place. There are also signs somebody's been here. Not just one, possibly several people. A handmade ladder, a well-worn trail leading from the river to the wall, and Border Patrol standing by. Down 15th Street from this unique part of the border, there's a school and homes. Beto Arevalo is just getting off from work. He says he's used to seeing people crossing the river and Border Patrol responding. Normal, patrullas, como el Departamento de Policía, Migración. Sabemos que es un eh, cruce importante. Under the government's plan, the land to the south of his neighborhood may see the extension to the levee wall. All we know is that physical barriers uh, do work if they're put in the right places. In his written testimony Wednesday, Secretary John Kelly says the Rio Grande Valley will get an additional 28 miles of levee wall. The concrete levee wall in Hidalgo County was built in seven discontinuous sections by 2008. The county asked for it. Now it covers 20 miles. It connects with the remaining earthen levee for flood control, covering all 50 miles of southern Hidalgo County. But how that additional levee wall will be funded hasn't been decided. Hidalgo County supported adding more levee wall this past February. They want to see the existing earthen levees replaced by concrete security levees. Much stronger than the earthen one. Uh, it does provide uh, the flood control uh, that we need. Drainage District Manager Raul Sassin spoke to us today after the new statement by DHS. He's pleased, but says the government hasn't contacted the county yet. Back along 15th Street, Arevalo says he's gotten used to what he sees. It's normal, por lo mismo que somos frontera con México, Reynosa, ¿verdad? He agrees things may change if this concrete levee wall is completed. In the city of Hidalgo, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 1030.